man, what a lovely concert. Thank you, Tom. I appreciated all the poetry and I'm looking forward to seeing you on Zoom afterwards. And this doing these concerts this way online, I just find I feel sad when I'm not with you. I love you, brother. And I'm glad we'll see each other with Zoom and I look forward to the next time we can be in the same place. Uh, people who enjoyed the show and thought during it or you're thinking about it now or you think about it tomorrow, somebody else who you wanna share the show with, uh, please know that that unlisted YouTube link will continue to work. So if you want to watch it again right away or next week, do it. And also, if you want to share it with people, the payment link will still continue to work. We'll just make sure Tom gets whatever money gets sent. And then we'll get people that link so they can watch it too. So um, don't feel like people who couldn't be with us together tonight have to miss out. They don't have to. Uh, the next concert is True North. That's October 18th. That's Kristen Granger and Dan Wetzel. They're fantastic. We've hosted them here live before, and they put on a great show. So October 18th, get it on your calendar. Um, let's just keep supporting our artists in the best way we can now with what's available to us. And one of those things, I want to make a little plug for Patreon and when we get together with uh, Tom on Zoom, let's work together to convince him to set up a Patreon page. So Tom and other musicians and fans, there's something you may not know. If you do the math, PayPal fees, you can set up a recurring payment to support artists on PayPal, but the fees are higher than they are on Patreon, and PayPal doesn't give you a platform to interact with your fans and put up new things. You know, another thing about Patreon, some artists may not want to receive monthly payments because they may think I may not produce new art every month, and I feel weirdly guilty about it. I, we're just moving into a new mode of supporting art and artists, and so I would encourage you to embrace it. But if that's the way you feel, you can set up your Patreon account to charge people only when you create something. And also the fans can control it. So if I want to give you $20 a month, but you set it up that way, I can make sure I pay you $20 per creation and limit it to $20 a month. That's way we both get to win. And if you don't create something some month, then I don't pay you because that's how you feel. That's not how I feel. I want to support you no matter what. So your art's always in the world. So please know that. I had to work on my brother for a long time uh, to get him to finally do it. And I think one of the things was to let him know that PayPal fees are actually higher than Patreon fees. And with Patreon, you get a service. So if you don't know about Patreon, we can learn about it together. All the artists who've played at Little Tree, their webpage is linked at littletreeacoustic.com so you can find them. And if they have Patreon subscription services, I put the link right there if they don't have PayPal and Venmo uh, associated with them. But um, uh, learn about it because it's an important way to continue to support artists. And Tom, it works for just a dollar a month, you know, like a dollar a month. If you have 10,000 fans who pay you a dollar a month, uh, then we'll make sure your, your art is still in the world for a fraction of what a streaming service costs to us. All right, enough about that. Um, time for rum cake if you still have it, and mm, whiskey too. See you in a minute.